Hi beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna talk about some underrated makeup products. I wanna talk about some stuff that I feel like no one talks about. Or at least not anymore. Like some of this is older stuff, some of this is newer stuff. But today I wanna talk about some products that I don't see anybody else talking about, anybody using and all that. But we're gonna keep it in like a little genre. We're gonna keep it in kind of things that I would use for summertime makeup and beauty and stuff. I also do have two skincare items as well in here. Just a good mix. These are just products I feel like need to get more hype. I'm gonna tell you why I like them and all that. So let's go ahead and get started. Although, before we get started, I do have to give a little quick shout out to my shop, theopencrypt.com. It's my own personal small business. I do run it from my house and everything. Like, I put a lot of time in it. We have a whole uh, new little set of earrings as well as uh, necklaces for rose quartz stone if you're interested in like natural stone jewelry. So I will leave that link down below and let's get started with the makeup products. And of course, if we disagree on anything, that's cool. Just makeup is not that serious. And also, if there's something that you think is like really underrated, let me know down below. Maybe I'm missing out on something really good. So I'm not going to do these in any particular order because I don't really feel like there is an order to these things. I'm just going to grab things as I see them and tell you why I like them and why I feel like they should be talked about more. So the first thing is this freckle pen. I have some small faux freckles along my nose ridge area and this is from the She Glam makeup line. Now this is a She Glam freckle tint freckle please freckle tint pen i'm in the shade fawn these come in a total like a total shade range from light like this is the lightest one to some really deep shades as well as fun ones they even have like a blue freckle pen it comes in totally fun different colors there's a good range which usually there's usually like two options or only one option when it comes to freckle pens you get the generic freckle one or there's like a general one and then a deeper one most freckle pens only come in like one or two colors. This comes in a whole range of colors, which I really appreciate because a lot of times general freckle pens come off as too warm or too red on my skin tone because I have a very cool toned skin. So these, like this fawn one, very cool, very light, very easy to blend in. It is just a little inker, like a little ink thing here. You just boop, boop it onto your skin and then you can blend out from there. These are so, so easy to use. Again, I just dot them all over my face and then I'll take my beauty sponge afterwards and just tap them in make them look extra light you can go more bold with these or lighter with these you can make bigger freckles by pressing harder with it smaller freckles by pressing lighter with it you get the idea it's just my favorite freckle pen because it's so easy to use and it's not too red on my skin tone which is so nice and it's affordable like this thing is pretty affordable Speaking of affordable, let's talk about City Color. Now, City Color has a whole bunch of products that are either good. We have a couple misses from them. I want to do like a uh, overrated products or disappointing products video because I found one from them I'm not really loving. But this one is something I am loving. <laughs> Just I've been thinking about this brand more lately because I've been trying to use more affordable different products. So these are from City Color is the canvas base. This is the shade Canary. I also have a couple other colors ones as well, especially the red one. But of course, my favorite is going to be the yellow. Now, this is so pretty. These are like the P. Louise bases. It's just kind of like a squirt paint situation as an eyeshadow base. This is the yellow one. I didn't use it for today's look because I didn't feel like it needed it. But I'll go ahead and show you how it works. So you just take like a little itty bit of this like paint like substance onto my hand and then you just spread it out like and it gives you just a good eye base and it gives you like a yellow eye primer situation so that your other colors can pop over top of it so let's you say you take an eyeshadow palette after this because it's a sticky product and you powder it down with a bright yellow eyeshadow it just gives you a nice base to work off of of course you can apply this with a brush instead of a finger to get more high impact yellow pigment out of this i personally always apply my eyeshadow primers with my finger just because it's just supposed to like enhance my eyeshadow palette already not like make a whole new thing but you could do it with a brush and get more impact i just think these are really good very tacky sticky primer situations that give you that good base especially if you have an eyeshadow palette that just isn't as impactful as you want it to be it just gives it a nice little boost these are affordable and it has a nice squishy container, which I appreciate. <laughs> Next up along the yellow category, because I had this yellow look going on today, I did use this for that. So these are some of my favorite liquid eyeshadows. They're so good. These are from the brand Sistar. It's S-I-S-T-A-R. But these are so good. These are the Glow Glitter Shine Like a Diamond liquid eyeshadows. I love liquid eyeshadows, first of all. I use them every single day. 
And I don't ever use them on my top. It feels like I just use them right here. So you see a little bit of sparkle right here. And that is this color. This is the shade Golden Storm. I also have... I forget the name of it, but I think it's like Disco Queen. It's like a very colorful, icy one with different hues in it. I love these liquid eyeshadows. They're very beautiful, like metallic as far as the eye can see. So lovely. You can use them on your top eyeshadow, of course. I always use them for the little lower sparkle to make my eyes look bigger. But these are just an excellent liquid eyeshadow. The colors are so high impact. I've had these for like a year and they're not drying out at all. Unlike some e.l.f. ones and some Stila ones, they dry out faster. This is just like metallic, gorgeous dream right here. It's lovely. I love these. Next up, since we talked about something that's on my face, let's talk about another thing that's on my face, and that is one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas, especially for the summertime when I'm really just, it's too hot to go do a ton of things sometimes, and I'll just run an errand real quick and throw on a really comfortable but high impact pigmentation liquid lipstick. These are the Ofra liquid lipsticks. This one happens to be the shade Refine, which was a Jen Loves Reviews collaboration with Ofra, but it's standalone color on its own, and also just in general, I'm talking about the Ofra liquid lipstick formula. It's, co it's comfortable. It's not the most matte in the world. Like, if I drink out of a straw, some is going to come up on my straw, which isn't my personal preference for, again, long days out, but for sitting around the house or running a few errands or just, like, doing small things here and there. If I'm out all day long, I won't wear it because, again, it'll come off of my straw in situations and I don't like touching stuff up. But, like, you know, just normal activities. It's a great liquid lipstick. It doesn't move on you, again, unless you're drinking out of a straw. It doesn't smudge or anything like that. It's very comfortable. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing any liquid lipstick whatsoever. And then also... It's beautifully pigmented, so you can overline your lips with no liner. I'm wearing no lip liner with this. Overline my top lip a bunch, and it still looks fantastic. So it's just so, it's so pigmented. There's such beautiful pigmentation and comfortable at the same time. I love the Ofra liquid lipsticks. I have a ton of them. Next up, something else on my face <laughs> is this Epic Wear uh, liner from NYX. Now this is the little white you see in my inner corner. I do it every day. It feels like it's just a eyeliner pen so it's more these it's not like a shake your little thing up and get the pen ink out of it's more like just a little pod of ink in here and you pull this out and you can you know go back in there for more it's just lasted me such a long time for the amount of money i think it was like 11 dollars. a lot of other like pen eyeliners and stuff are either too wet and they'll bleed in such a sensitive area or they'll dry over time this one is lasting me such a long amount of time and it's nyx so it's affordable and again i always do this little bit of white in here to make my eyes look bigger and more open and more Especially during the summertime when everything's all light and happy and airy and bright. I want my inner corners to look bright. So this really helps this. And I just feel like the amount of time I've been using this and it still hasn't dried out. I can see myself using this for another six months to a year without having to buy another one. And I use it every day. Like it's not drying out on me. It's fantastic. Now speaking of going out places, like I was talking about the liquid lipstick and stuff. Let's talk about something that I wore out to... In the middle of like a hundred and something degree weather this weekend in vast humidity especially because it was kind of rainy to like the florida springs we drove down uh farther in florida we went to the springs for the day and i of course was gonna wear makeup because i didn't know what we were gonna do right okay i wore this not even a real foundation in the heat the weather even i put a little mask on my face even though i had lashes on like to protect my eyes and i put my face so all of my face was underwater besides my eyes for a minute to see like, you know, there was like a drop in the cavern situation. And my foundation still looked pretty good at the end of the day. Like some of the powder and had kind of broken up on my face and my face was sweaty a little bit. So the foundation had started to separate, but for being out in that heat, that humidity, dunking my head underwater once and everything, my foundation was looking pretty freaking good. And I was impressed. Honestly, I thought I'd become like a sweaty mess. I thought I'll take a makeup wipe with me just in case. But this lasted so well and it's not even like a long wear foundation situation. So this is the IT Cosmetics CC Plus Nude Glow. I didn't expect like a tinted moisturizer CC cream situation to last as well as it did on my skin. But it did such a good job. I'm really impressed. So this, I wore this because it says glow serum. I didn't want much coverage. I wasn't wearing a full face of makeup. And it has SPF 40 in it, which is really important when you're going out to have SPF on your face. That's why I wore this. And I was just so impressed by how good it looked at the end of the day. Like it wasn't perfect, but for how, you know, the conditions it was under, I was impressed. This is a really good glowy, dewy, 
tinted moisturizer situation with skincare benefits. It gives you a light amount of coverage on the skin. It does its job. You don't have to set it with powder. I did personally just because, I mean, if you're going out in the humidity and stuff, you probably want to set it with powder so it doesn't melt off your face. But I just thought this was a fantastic product for anybody looking for a dewy, refreshing, not much coverage kind of day, but you don't want it to sweat off your face in two seconds. I'm just, I should have filmed like what my face looked like after that day because oh my god I was so impressed. Next up the powder that I'm using lately I reordered from Ulta. I used to have it you know I have a white one still but I didn't have a tinted one to my face color anymore and I missed it and I repurchased it because this product is just that good and I don't hear anybody talking about it. The Anastasia Beverly Hills setting powder this is in the shade vanilla. I also have translucent which is just a white find that white to be a little bit drying on the skin. This one's a little more fluffy and lighter. This vanilla setting powder is so freaking good. You get 25 grams, 0.9 ounces of product. It's a very big container. I will say storage wise, it's very big. I love this very light and fluffy powder. It's my setting powder today. It's just when I'm running out of setting powder, this is the first one that comes to mind is like, hey, that's a steady one to repurchase. I feel like it's really nice. I would compare this as like a slightly more expensive version of the kimchi chic beauty powder um so it is slightly more expensive than that but this tinted color vanilla is very nice on my skin tone because it's not too overly yellow and then also you can mix it with any like illuminizing setting powder it does a really good job of setting your face next up highlighters and blushes now the blushes are like you know i feel like all blushes are like either good or bad i feel like there's not too much distinguishing noticeable difference between blushes so we're going to focus on the highlighters but the blushes from this collection are also really good the new sigma highlighters this one is in the shade twilight they have like six different new shades of these i have three of the shades and they're really pretty and i will say that these are beautiful and icy like this one isn't even their lightest one it has like a pinky tone to it i kind of wanted my blush to be like higher up on my face today and i just feel like this highlighter can we even see it on this side with no lighting on this side that side shows it better it's very icy very beautiful it's not as metallic as some other ones it's not as bold in your face as some other ones but it has this nice glassiness that i feel like is really good for the summertime because if you have something overly like an Ofra highlighter, you know, something very impactful, very blinding. And then you go outside and you get hot and sweaty. It might be too much. So something more subtle and glassy on the skin is going to look better throughout the day out in the heat. So I feel like these are just beautiful. And I haven't heard anybody talking about these either because like, well, they're kind of new. But like, why is no one talking about how pretty and glassy it is? It feels so like light and dainty and feminine. I'm so into it. Really quickly, I want to talk about one eyeshadow palette because I feel like people gave this like half a moment in time and then it's been like a year and a half and no one's, no one's talking about this palette anymore even though I still thoroughly enjoy it. The Urban Decay Naked Honey Palette. It's what's on my eyes today. You know, I just wanted, I love golden tones for summer. You know, I just think it's so beautiful. It's so refreshing and light but also pretty and elegant. And like when it's not like midday like say it's like evening time evening time in the summer you're out at a bar and you have some gold eyes should i want you are that girl i love naked honey is it the most original color scheme in the world no are these the most signature yellows in the world no but i still love this palette to death it's so easy to use the mattes are super pigmented the metallics the shimmery metallic shades are stunning so easy to work with like it's an easy to blend together beautiful palette and no one talks about it but it's still super good quality and sometimes it's on sale next up is something from one of my favorite skincare brands um, that i've been a fan of for like 13 years now so this is from beekman 1802 this is the milk primer with spf 35 it's a sunscreen primer i wore this in conjunction with the spf 40 it cosmetic situation i don't know i don't think this combines like 40 plus 35 on my face it probably just that's the 40 probably stands but i just wanted to make sure i had sunscreen on my face so this is the milk primer uh, most of beekman products have like goat milk situation infused in there i feel like milk and goat milk is really good for your skin i quite enjoy guilt, mo goat milk products in general especially because i do have a couple of skin conditions and my skin is very sensitive so goat milk products just make me feel better spf makes me feel better makes me feel safer and less scared of things i just think it's a really beautiful 
uh, milky. It is kind of a watery primer, which I don't mind because I can make sure I blend it over my entire face when it's watery now. I'm not missing anything. Such a good, good primer. It is a little expensive. I don't like that there's this much glass in the bottom and this is all the product you get. Like I wish the product came all the way down but I like it a lot and it has like a milky kind of scent to it. Another thing, which is like my holy grail. Okay, I don't do skincare very well. My arms look weird like this. I don't do skincare very well. You know, I'm just not, I'm not the skincare guru girl that, you know, maybe I should be at my age, but I'm not. But this one product, for skincare, I would recommend to anyone because it's like an instant noticeably difference on my skin. I feel like if I'm having a bad or a rough or a dry or irritated skin day and I put this product on, my, my skin the next day just thanks me for it. These are the Beekman 1802 Milk Drops. If you have not heard about these, you're hearing about them now. And of course, they are available Ulta. If you don't like them for whatever crazy reason, <laughs> you can return them, you know, like no harm, no foul. I love these milk drops. It, it's a probiotic ceramide serum. Do I know what that means? Not particularly. I just know how it feels on my face, on my skin. It's a little dropper situation. It's not the best dropper in the world. Like sometimes you'll get a drop or two and sometimes you gotta go back in there and like get another of it. You don't need much. One or two drops mixed in with your serum or moisturizer. It's the most like soothing, nice thing on your skin. And if I go out in the heat and my skin's irritated or some of my skin conditions flare up because I've been sweating, I know I can put this on my skin. My skin's going to calm down, which is very nice. Can this be a religion right here? I love it so much. Please let me, if you tried this product, the Bill Drops down below, let me know what you think because I, like when we first moved in, I lost them and like all of our moving stuff for like two weeks. My skin was suffering the second I put that back on. I just felt so much more at peace with my skin. <laughs> Lastly, let's talk about a cleanser because cleansers are good at getting all the sweat and dirt and makeup seeped in your pores during the summertime. This is my favorite cleanser. I've gone through three of them so far. This is the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. I love a gel cleanser because I feel like it's or like a gel cleanser or like a water cream based cleanser. It's so good at getting into your skin and washing it out. It feels cooling, it feels refreshing, it's very nice. For me, I like that you get a ton of this. You can just use here. It's like a water gel cleanser situation. I keep one in my shower, I keep one on my little sink vanity situation. It's really good. My husband also likes it for scrubbing around in his beard because he feels like the gel, like watery gel situation get into the skin under the hair. So just a really good, nice cleanser. I also, if you're thinking about goat milk products still, because I talk about goat milk products, I would also suggest the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Cleanser as well. It's more of just like a regular, general, white, creamy cleanser, but it is kind of refreshing and soft on the skin as well, in case you're wanting something that's, well, I guess it's still expensive. It's a different alternative if you don't want a gel cleanser. I still have this. <laughs> thing on my hand. Doesn't it look pretty still? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Next video, I do, I mean, maybe not the next video specifically, but I, I do want to do a disappointing products, you know, like overrated products sounds kind of mean. Maybe I'll just like disappointing products because some of these things aren't hyped, but I bought them and I was like, meh. But Anyways, thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Have a great and safe day out there wherever you are. Baby Poe, do you want to say hello? Do you hear him crying? Guess who's getting bigger? Guess who's getting bigger? I know, honey. He's been kind of brat lately. Like, we started giving him dry food. We mixed someone with like little milk replacers at first to see if he would like it like kind of smushier. He doesn't like that. Now that we've given him like chunks of chicken wet food with like high protein amounts, that's all he wants. He's becoming a little baby brat. He's got a little round baby belly because he just loves eating chicken products like chicken, um, like rotisserie chicken, he'll eat some of the chicken off of that or he loves the chicken wet foods. He doesn't like pate, which kind of sucks because usually kitten pat foods are pates. He doesn't really like pate because it doesn't have enough juice in there for him. But he's, he's doing good on his little food journey, but now that he... <laughs> is getting more wet food. He doesn't want to eat the dry food that we introduced him to last week. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for the kitten update, uh, listening to that. And I will see you in the next video. Have a great and safe day out there, guys. Bye, have a good one.